Hey Playa, today I want to share the story of my worst friend zoning experience ever. Hopefully, in hearing my story, you can pick out the pieces to see what I did wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Picture it, junior year of high school. I'm sitting in math class when all of a sudden in walks in the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I know, I say that a lot, but this girl was just so pretty. She sat down diagonally from me, so I just sat there staring at her. I was so encapsulated by her presence. Have you ever felt that way about someone before, that the person that you like is just perfect? Well, I went and told my friends everything I could about her, and of course they made fun of me. What I said to my friends exactly was that everything was beautiful about her, from head to toe. And of course, my friend decided to make fun of me and say that I had a foot fetish because I said her toes were beautiful. I didn't know what a foot fetish was at the time, so I just went along with the joke. And of course, in joking around, we decided to make a song around it called I've Got a Foot Fetish. I've got... A foot fetish when I see those toes I grab my lettuce yeah we wrote out lyrics to a foot fetish song and I thought it'd be funny to send them out to my friends so that they can have a laugh at it too now at the time my friend who said I had a foot fetish was dating this girl that I had introduced him to after meeting her in an AOL chat room for people who went to my school so what did he do he shared her with his girlfriend who in turn was friends with the girl that I was crushing on so you can imagine what happened next I'm sitting in math class staring at this girl when all of a sudden she turns around and introduces herself to me and the first thing she said to me was hey Josh right yeah my friend gave me the song and said that you wrote it about me is that true she was sitting there holding a printout of the email I sent yes that was incredibly embarrassing but sure enough she thought it was funny and soon after that we became friends at the time just even having her in my life was awesome yes I was too scared to make a move but knowing that I could hang out with her and talk to her was good enough for me and I'm not too sure if there was any interest on her part initially at the time I think I read too much into everything that it wasn't a sign of interest. For example, there was a time where I met her outside of class and she walked in over and put her arms around my neck. So of course I put my arms around her waist and we stood like that talking. And I was just too scared to do anything about it. Instead of making a move and trying, I was afraid that if I did and I failed, I would lose her as a friend. So I decided to play it safe. I would hide any feelings or emotions I would have at the risk of not losing her. I did some really weird things at the time. Like for example, her favorite band was Good Charlotte and she absolutely loved Joel Madden so I photoshopped a picture of her hugging Joel Madden and gave it to her when I gave it to her she said oh thought it was cute and put it in her locker I actually thought that was a way of getting her to like me I was wrong though so horribly wrong soon after that we began writing letters and giving them to one another in between classes every time we saw each other the letters sort of predated texting so this was our only way to really communicate with each other in fact there was one time in math class that I had to bring the TI-80 84 plus calculator and since she didn't have one we decided to share it this was the type of calculator that you can type on so of course I would type a message on it and then pass it over to her and we would write to each other like that I think the teacher caught on to the fact that we weren't really paying attention but when I saw her draw less than three on the calculator I smiled and got so happy because I saw that as an immediate sign that she was interested in me of course even though we weren't going out we were just friends I got insanely jealous whenever another guy would start talking to her or flirting with her I felt like they were encroaching on my territory and even though we were just friends I felt like she should have known to not talk to them because I was there well the letters continued and eventually when I got my own phone we would talk on the phone for hours to each other anytime she called me or I would call her I would go into the bathroom and sit on the floor for hours just so I can do it in a private setting and then when I started to go online more and use AOL I would sit there waiting for her to sign on just so I can talk to her everything was perfect between us except for the fact that we weren't actually going out and we were still doing all the things that couples do minus all the romantic stuff then one day her mom banned her from going on her AOL account because she said she spent too much time online and me being the hero slash boyfriend slash not actually boyfriend but really good friend hoping to be boyfriend decided to let her go on my screen name 
I gave her my information and let her go online on my family's account. Which meant that if someone in my family wanted to go online, they couldn't because she was on. I was willing to do anything for this girl. I was in love with her and she just didn't know it. Then one day, things got serious. There was a dating site at the time called Meet Spot, where a lot of people in high school were going on. This predates MySpace and Facebook and all those things. Everyone at the time had a Meet Spot page, including me, but I particularly at the time didn't approve of her having one because it meant she could potentially talk to guys. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Some high schooler who was training to be in the Navy decided to message her one day and start talking to her. When she told me about it and said that he was cute, I was devastated because I didn't want her to pursue it, but I couldn't say anything about how I felt. So of course, I kept my feelings to myself. And because she was banned from going online, she had to go on my screen name to talk to him. Hear me out on this one because yes, what I did was weird and creepy, but it all makes sense. At the time, there was AOL and AIM. You can go on AOL to talk to people or you can separately talk to them on AIM. Sort of like how Facebook Messenger and Facebook are two different things. She started instant messaging this guy on my screen name on AOL, but when I had AIM open, I would see his incoming messages because it went to both pieces. So because of that, I would sit on my computer on AIM and read his incoming messages messages trying to decipher what their conversations were like. Things were not looking good for me. They were getting along, they were laughing, and eventually they made plans to hang out. This is when things got to code red for me. I knew I had to do something and I had to do it quick. So I talked to my friend and he told me to write out my feelings in a letter and give it to her. The day had finally come where she was gonna meet him after school. So that day I made it my goal to rush out of every single one of my classes to go pick her up at hers. I had written out a letter expressing all of my feelings, that I liked her, that I wanted to be with her, that everything I did was for her. And I was hoping by giving her this letter, she would somehow reveal her feelings too. So before the last period of the day, I gave her the letter and hoped that she would read it before she went out with him. When the last period was over, I met her after her class, she smiled and gave me a note back. And when I read that note, it said everything every person who's in the friend zone doesn't want to hear. I think we'd be better off as just friends. Game, set, and match. I lost. She was going to meet up with the guy after school and there was nothing I can do unless. When I told my friend about it, he was just as hurt and upset as I was. So we decided to go to McDonald's after school and that's when I saw her walking with the guy. Ah! Seeing them together really crushed my spirit. So while me and my friend were in McDonald's, I just sat there eating my fries and sulking. And to add more salt on the wound, she walked in with the guy and sat down at a table not too far from us. I didn't know what to do at this point. My friend flat out told me, dude, this isn't fair. You told her how you felt and this is how she repays you? You should take that letter that she gave you and just throw it in her face and say you're done with her. And as he was talking, I sat there going, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. So I took her letter out of my folder and marched on over to her. And this will go down as perhaps one of the saddest moments in my entire life. I unfolded the note, walked on over to her and said, I guess I won't be needing this anymore and then threw it at her. I don't know if you've ever thrown a piece of flat paper before, but as I threw the letter, instead of going directly at her, it just kind of floated and landed very gently on the table. I didn't know what to do, so I just looked at her, grabbed the paper, and then stormed out of McDonald's. It didn't go exactly how I planned, but I had given her a piece of my mind at least. So at that point, I knew I was done with her. The weekend passed, and on Monday morning when I saw her, I decided I'm not talking to her. I am done with her. And that's when she walked on over to me. She looked me in the eyes and said, I'm really sorry if I hurt your feelings. I really care about you and want you as a friend. So will you be friends with me again? I stood there proudly and told her, of course, I don't want to lose you as a friend. <sighs> there is still way more to this story that I have to tell you guys, but I'm going to save it for another video. So I want to know, have you ever had a friend zone experience like this or just a friend zone experience in general? Leave your comment below and we'll talk about it. I hope this story has been helpful, but if you want more friend zone advice, I put together all my friend zone videos in a playlist, which you can definitely check out after you watch this video. I can't believe the paper just slowly glided and landed. It was so embarrassing. But hopefully you guys don't run into that or a situation like that anytime in the future. As always guys, love and peace.